like a tweet I've seen. Like this girl's like, how come, how come only Africans be saying, "What's that on your face, bitch?" <laughs> Yo, why are people? And this is back to my point. Why are people so fucking ignorant? Those niggas don't know about freckles. They just don't know about freckles. But you cannot assume that all Africans don't know about fucking freckles. Go to South Africa. There's white people there. You don't think none of them have freckles, bro? What? Freck aren't freckles like fucking skin fucking blemishes or some shit? A small patch of light brown color on the skin, often becoming more pronounced through exposure to the sun. Know what I'm saying? And you look black. And you have a bunch of dots on your face, right? She's light skinned, but you know what I mean? To them, you look black and you have a bunch of dots on your face. So they're like, is that a new makeup style? What is that? They have not seen a girl with fucking freckles before, probably. Or a black girl with freckles. For them, they probably see a white girl with it. They're like, oh, that's white people shit. For them, they see a black girl with it. They're like, oh, what is that? Some people have not seen it. That's like fucking when a, when a black guy goes to China or some shit, a Chinese village, and they haven't seen black people before. And they're, everyone's looking at him rub It's not racist It's not You know what I mean It's not like Don't feel no type of way Don't be like Oh all Chinese people No nigga It's just They never fucking seen a nigga before it Doesn't mean all Chinese people Have never seen niggas before You know I got offense Because I'm African And my mom has freckles So I'm like I'm African And my mom has freckles They're just ignorant They don't know anything You know what I mean But for you to just be like How come it's just Africans Bitch, just be like, yo, how come some of these niggas be saying, I, what's that on my face? Laugh out loud. Why do you have to diss the Africans? And what is with this beef between the fucking black African Americans and fucking, I don't, not Canada. I don't really see that. Uh, maybe maybe the Mollies and the, the Jamaicans don't really like each other. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I don't really see anything like that. I, I see, because... I, I've seen I've seen like the Mollies and you know the Caribbean people beef and shit like that or you know there's always civil war between black people always but you know I've seen that little that little roughness you know between like oh you know I've seen it so like end of the day <laughs> we need to stop having this divisiveness like yo you're black I'm black Right now, your ancestors got shipped, not even ancestors, like your great, 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 great grandmother. Holy fuck, I didn't drink the whole time. This is Coke. No, I'm not drinking cocaine, I'm drinking Coca Cola. Fun fact they used to put cocaine in Coca Cola, and then the people found out. Or the government found out and they had to take it out and switch up the recipe. Low key, they used to put the cocoa leaf. So you used to get a little buzz when you drink it. It wasn't like actual cocaine. It was the cocoa leaf. That's what's called Coca-Cola. Anyways. We're all black at the end of the day. If races, if slavery were to come back, we're all in... I might be a house nigga, but no, I got a lot of scars. So they might put me in the kitchen. You know what I mean? A house nigga in the kitchen. I can cook. And I'm skinny. So I'd probably be a house nigga in the kitchen cooking and shit. But anyways, if if the the shit were to let's say we were to go back in time, we would all be fucking let's not even back in time. If the shit were to happen today, all the white people just came together and said, you know what? Fuck No, every single race just came together and said, Yo, fuck black people. And we're all slaves again. Just know. All that light skin versus dark skin, all that, all the, all that dumb bullshit, is not gonna make is is all that arguing is not gonna make any sense. Or when a black person gets killed by an unarmed police officer or unjustly or whatever the fucking case may be, we all feel that shit, right? So why the fuck are we? Do we like to just? It's cool to. We're bl we're black. We like to roast each other. It's cool to roast each other and shit. But some of y'all actually believe the shit that you guys are saying. 
Like the rhetoric that y'all are saying. Some of y'all, I know y'all don't believe it. Y'all just talking shit. I do the same shit online, right? Everyone thinks I look Jamaican. I'm like, yeah, I'm not Jamaican. I'm East African. Da, 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 da. I make tweets like that. You know, I get that, right? But you're just fucking around. I don't get how people like to make it seem like like um, they believe like like you got Africans that really don't like black people in North America. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not to, me, I was born here. So how can I hate a place that I'm born at? You know what I'm saying? And how can I hate on the people here when I was born and raised here? Like, so it's like, that's stupid for me to, but there's some Africans that from the motherland, they don't fuck with niggas. You guys know what I'm saying by niggas, right? They don't fuck with niggas. Then you got niggas that look at those Africans and they go, man, those Africans think they're better than us because they have culture, but more culture or whatever, a better self-identity, whatever the, whatever the fucking shit is, whatever the shit that they say. And then they look at them and be like, man, fuck those Africans, those like ass niggas, right? Then we go, man, fuck them niggas, bro, them fucking dusty ass, cock monkey ass, back and forth. If we just all, I'm not saying every, I'm saying there are people that actually believe in that rhetoric from both sides. That is, and what what do we say? The emptiest bell is the loudest. These motherfuckers have no sense of, no sense of communication skills, no sense of speaking properly, no sense of, hey, this is how things are. This is how things should be. There's none of that. There's no... You know what? Some of the shit that y'all niggas do, that y'all that that yo, y'all say that's a part of y'all culture, I don't fucking agree with that shit. And some things that us that we do that y'all don't agree, that's cool. We can agree to disagree, and we can live and move the fuck on. That's it. We can live, and we can move the fuck on. That's what we have to do because at the end of the day, we cannot have this shit going on. Where, oh, fumble, 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 fumble. Oh, it's tie game, 14-14. God damn. I thought the Eagles were going to, oh, they're going back to back to back touchdowns. God damn. Proper things. Defense got a touchdown. And then Mahomes, yeah, damn. God damn. Anyways, so. Yeah, so um, all I'm saying is to all my, my 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 black people out there, we need to stick together and we need to not let these fucking loud ass niggas from both sides try to pollute our minds. That's it. You got niggas from both sides trying to talk shit. You got niggas that are African talking shit in my ear about Africans, about um, about black Americans. Then you got black Americans talking shit in my ear. Because sometimes they don't even know I'm African, right? Talking shit in my ear about Africans. I get it. I hear from both sides. And at the end of the day, I'm just like, you motherfuckers, why can't we just fucking all stick together, man? 